Hi hey, gang, and my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci. It's winter time and that can only mean one thing. The polar vortex will start buzzing around in the news cycle once again. Most news organizations and tabloids don't know the first thing about the polar vortex, what it is or what it does, but fortunately, we do. We've got you covered. For starters, both hemispheres have a polar vortex, or should I say, two polar vortices. They're stacked atop each other. One is located in the troposphere, or the lowest level of the atmosphere. The other is in the stratosphere. Let's start with the tropospheric polar vortex. It's there year-round. The air is cold and dense near the poles. It's warmer near the equator. That cold air pushes against a wavy jet stream surging south over the U.S. in various dips and eddies. We're used to these storm systems or areas of low pressure. High shunt the tropospheric polar vortex north. If you've ever gotten a cold front, which everybody has, odds are you've received a kiss from the tropospheric polar vortex. In the summertime, the jet stream retreats farther north, and the tropospheric polar vortex contracts. It expands in the wintertime as cold air pushes the jet stream farther south. Here's a look at the tropospheric polar vortex from NASA. You can see wind barbs marking the jet stream. The jet stream forms at the edge of the tropospheric polar vortex near the transition from cold to warm. But odds are, that's not the polar vortex people on social media are hyping. After all, we deal with the tropospheric polar vortex daily. We need to talk about the stratospheric polar vortex. The stratospheric polar vortex occurs in a different layer of the atmosphere, i.e. the stratosphere. The flow up there is a lot smoother since there's little mixing from the lower atmosphere. There aren't really terrain influences or oceans to worry about, meaning laminar smooth flow. The Northern Hemisphere stratospheric polar vortex forms during polar night as the air rapidly cools off in September, and usually breaks apart by March or April. The stratospheric polar vortex is essentially a whirlpool of cold. The air loses heat energy, sinks and compresses, leaving a void in the upper atmosphere. Other air parcels from the mid-latitudes essentially slide downhill into that undulating void. The shape of the stratospheric polar vortex is super important in our forecasts. When it's strong, it remains a near-perfect circle, ensnaring all the high-altitude cold within it. Picture wrapping your arms around a bundle of groceries. When the stratospheric polar vortex is weak, however, it relaxes its barriers, allowing pockets of extreme cold to spill down towards the mid-latitudes. It's like releasing your hands and letting all those groceries just fall to the ground. When this happens, the results can be extreme. In February 2021, a low of the stratospheric polar vortex led to generational cold in Texas, knocking up power to 4 million customers and bringing the coldest air mass since 1989. Thunder snow occurred in Galveston with snow all the way to Brownsville and across the border into northern Mexico. Houston dipped down to 13 degrees, Dallas to minus 2, and Oklahoma City to minus 14. Here you can see snow all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico on satellite. And look at all the records broken. At one point, the entire state of Texas was under a winter storm warning for the first time on record. In many places, the ground got so cold that weather satellites began interpreting the temperatures as frigid clouds high in the atmosphere. That's why the surface looks purple here. It's thinking it's aloft. Sometimes the stratospheric polar vortex can become perturbed, its void suddenly filling in and rapidly warming. That displaces cold air down to the mid-latitudes. The Texas cold blast in February was connected to a January sudden stratospheric warming event. Current forecast models indicate the existing polar vortex will remain strong as meteorological winter arrives, but there's no telling what's in store as we head deeper into the new year. So next time you hear someone mention the polar vortex in the news, don't be afraid to do some deeper digging. When it comes to the polar vortex, there's much more than meets the eye. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox and Windows.